Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Giants in Dallas. Uh, everybody's uh, loving Dallas right now all of a sudden. Why not? Uh, they're Looking great, and the Giants just had that, we just talked about it, against the Lions. Well, right. I mean, that's what happened, right? The Giants lost to the Lions when the Giants were kind of on a roll or, you know, played the Ravens tough, you know, out there getting stuff done, playing close games with the Jets. And then you have the Cowboys that we were kind of counting them out, uh, blew it versus the Packers, you know, then suddenly go out there and beat the Vikings and you know, then everyone wants to put them ahead of the Eagles. I mean, it's just been this craziness over the last, uh, you know, a couple of weeks here, uh, you know, but uh, both of these teams are scoring, uh, you know, about the same amount of points here per game. Uh, Giants have been within four points or less out of, you know, about their last five or six games. Uh, Giants five and two against the spread in the last seven. Um, I like the Giants here and the points. I think the points have just gotten too high. I mean, I think this is a, a Cowboys five or six, not a nine or ten. Yeah, I get it. I mean, uh, you know, and the Cowboys are getting all that attention certainly right now. But the Giants, don't forget, they're five and one not only against the spread as an underdog, they're five and one straight up as an underdog. So this has been their role to a certain extent. Now the Cowboys have dominated lately against the Giants, covering nine of the last eleven meetings. But Dallas against the spread on Thanksgiving, <laughs> a team that always plays <laughs> on Thanksgiving. They're 1-11 and 11 against oh. the spread, their last 11 games on Thanksgiving. The Giants are going to come in here. They know what to do against the Cowboys. I'm not all about the look ahead, but, uh, you know, the Giants laid an egg last week. They've got to come in and make it another low-scoring game if they can here. Uh, I know the move's been on the over a little bit, but they've got to make it a low-scoring game uh, in this one if they're going to get it done. Um uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna go under in this game, Mindy. You take the Giants. I'm gonna go under. No consensus play. Yeah, that's one thing I did not look at was any of those uh, Thanksgiving trends. So these are fun trends that you're giving us here. The one in ten for the Cowboys. That's well. I mean, right? I mean, oh, it's Ramon, a you're gonna talk about what happened. Look in the chat. Tell us about the game. You were there. The, oh yeah. Yes, yeah. I was there, Curtis. So that was the coldest I've ever been in my life. At that point in my life, I was going to Dallas probably seven or eight years in a row. To the That was like my thing to do on Thanksgiving. I uh, was going to a Dallas game, to the Dallas Thanksgiving game. I saw him play Kansas City. I saw him play Minnesota. I saw him play the Redskins. <laughs> And I was there at the Leon Lett game, but uh, you know what? I only put on, I only had one pair of socks on. I, I was totally unprepared uh, for yeah. what was about. To, I mean, I knew it was going to be cold. I, you know, I'm from Southern California. I had no idea. That was the coldest I've ever been in my life uh, at that game. And uh, I know. Was it's still amazing that Ramon was there at that game. So, uh, anyways, Mindy, I will take the under. You take the Giants. Look, they've got to hang in there. The, uh, Cowboys, now they want to sign uh, OBJ. Be careful what you wish for. I mean, you know, be careful yeah. what you're adding to your – you got great chemistry. You don't want to go screwing it up right now. So, uh, you know, but it looks like almost a done deal. It looks like they want him – you know, it looks like Dak wants him. I mean, yeah, you know, great that. receivers. Why do you need – you know, why do you need OBJ? I don't see it. You know, he's not on a team right now. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our All Cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks. And be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TonyT at checkout to save 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.